This is from Margaret. Hi, Margaret. Um, book world. I've been addicted to your books. I've never been a big reader until I was introduced to your books. Thank you. I find myself smiling and laughing when reading. Well, thank you for that beautiful compliment. Um, it, to me, it's important to, to bring the person into the story. Um, if you're not engaging the reader where it's interactive, where you're laughing and you're crying and you're 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 like I want to kill this person, um, then you know you're not really you're an observer. I, I guess that's the best way to describe it. You're not you, you're just observing what's happening in that person's life. You're not part of that person's life. And so for me in the stories, I want you to. Be interactive. I want you to be there with them and feel what they're feeling. When Gracie was standing on the cliff, oh, my God, I was just, I was, I had a meltdown. I was just, like, going to pieces. And that was another time when my husband was like, maybe you need to take a little bit of a break. And I'm like, it's not stress. It's what she's, what's happening. I have to know what's going to happen next. And I was actually writing Jacqueline's Love. Um, and I, I pulled an all nighter and he, you know, my husband got up at the next morning at eight o'clock and well, he got up about four and he goes, are you okay? And I'm like, yes. And I'm typing away. And then he gets up at eight. He says, you didn't come to bed at all. And I said, I had to know what was going to happen next. I couldn't stop. And he goes, okay, you're going to crash today. And I'm like, probably, but not until I find out exactly what's going to happen next. So, you know, I get really involved in the stories. 